We're making mac and cheese, please. And we're having steak and broccoli. So the steak is in the oven, in the oven, in the microwave right now, unthawing. Um, I'm gonna cook my steak in the oven like I did it before in that foil. It's gonna be freaking delicious. And right now I'm just about to shred up some cheese. And y'all already know I got my coffee. Cheers, Ski. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, shoot. I need to make a video about this for Instagram. Anyway, so I'm, I'm using Monterey Jack cheese and some sharp cheddar and some mozzarella. The mozzarella is already, um, already shredded. So I'm gonna do that. So Ooh, y'all just love that. Oh my God. Anyway, y'all, I didn't walk today because it's too daggone cold outside. It is freezing outside. It's not freezing, but it's freezing to me. You know? So, anyway. Let's shred this right on up. I need to make sure I have my, um, my dish. Hold on. I had to make sure it was clean and I didn't need to clean that. So that's what I'm be using for the mac and cheese. And I already have some um, pasta that um, I cooked um, and I had cooked too much so I saved it. Thank God. And it's in the refrigerator still. So. Yeah, and I'm getting, I'm, I'm starting early. What time is it? What time is it? Okay, it's three o'clock. Let's see if I can do this video early. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna be able to, but we're gonna see. Oh snap! And when Jean succumbed to her dark moods, the aftermath was brutal. She lashed out at Oppenheimer and dragged him down with her. She even disappeared for weeks. Oh, her. I love this thing so much. She taught him what or who she'd been doing. Friends speculated that Jean wanted to hurt him because she knew he loved her too much. In 1939, Jean broke the heartbreaker's heart. They remained friends and occasional lovers, but never anything more. Oppenheimer tried moving on, and broke more than a few hearts in the process. Then he met Kitty Harrison, and once more, it was lust at first sight. The feeling was mutual, but there was a catch. Kitty was just his type, beautiful, younger, communist, and most importantly, married. What? was beyond audacious. He invited Kitty and her husband Stuart to his ranch for the summer. Stuart couldn't make it, but Kitty obviously could. And by the end of the summer, Kitty was pregnant and she divorced her husband so she and Oppenheimer could marry. Did they live happily ever after? What is this, some German stuff? And his life was about to get wow. German news? In the middle of World War II, Oppenheimer found his calling. He watched as his fellow scientists raced to build an atomic bomb before the Germans, and he desperately wanted in. He believed two things. One, creating and using it was the right thing to do. Two, his skills were essential. Other scientists and officials felt the same way. Oppenheimer's past came back to haunt him. The deeper the FBI dug, the more red flags they uncovered. Oppenheimer's political past and present made getting a security clearance a pipe dream. While he was never a member of the Communist Party, its current and past members included his wife, lovers, family, friends, and colleagues. They saw him as a walking security risk, but one the world needed. Oppenheimer traded everything to become the director of the Los Alamos laboratory. I hate it when this shit gets freaking stuck. God, it's so annoying. The FBI ended up Why is it getting stuck? All the cheese is cold. He wiretapped his office, house, and phone. 
They also followed his movements 24-7, monitored mail, and had undercover agents infiltrate his staff. Oppenheimer put up with so much because he didn't want to let anything interfere with his usefulness to the nation. But everyone has a breaking point. Oppenheimer confessed that he wanted out. Robert Bacher, a fellow nuclear physicist and one of the leaders of the Manhattan Project, told him there wasn't anybody else who could do it. And he was right. Without Oppenheimer, the Manhattan Project wouldn't have finished the bomb in time. Germany might have even beaten the Allies too. Oppenheimer rose to the occasion as a brilliant physicist and perhaps an even better leader. But this came at a hefty cost. While Oppenheimer became the beloved leader and heartthrob of Los Alamos, Kitty sat in the corner drinking and drinking. She reached her breaking point after giving birth to their daughter Catherine. She took their son Peter and went away for nearly four months, leaving Catherine with a friend. If that sounds like some dodgy parenting, then wait until you hear about what Oppenheimer did next. First off, he barely visited the girl. Then when he did, and he saw how much the family friend loved having Catherine around, his reaction was beyond belief. He asked his friend if he'd like to adopt her, and admitted that he couldn't love her. Like us. At all. I'm convinced, baby. Convinced. That's so weird how other countries love the people. Love their people. And they want them to eat the best shit. But us? Let us. Ritz crackers are the third leading cracker brand in the United States with sales of $485.6 million. Statistically, yeah, it's about money. At your local supermarket or the grocery aisles of That's all it is. Walmart or Target, Ritz crackers are easy to get your hands on. It may come as a big surprise. All about money. Certain countries and head to the snack aisle to grab Because if we didn't have that, well, then what would Ritz freaking do? I mean, well, they have other products, but. They just want as, the, as much money as they could possibly get. So they don't give a shit about our health. Yeah, y'all, it's cold. That's why I have this daggone um, uh, robe on in the house. But I'll take it off for the video. Now we're going to cut this onion up so we can put it on top of our steak. Because we're about to put that steak in there right now because it has to be in the oven for two hours, y'all. Two hours. Trans fats are known to be unhealthy, according to the University of California Davis. So I'm gonna do it right this time. I'm gonna put it on the right temperature. I think it's like 250, something like that. Cause last time I did what I wanted to do. <laughs> it still cooked good, but I just want to do it the way this lady. Like, told everybody to do it. And so. All right, y'all. So you hear gonna say, yeah, it kind of overly defrosted. It's all good though. Um, I'm just gonna cover it in some of this. I was well, and in my pot over there, I have some oil which is this grapefruit oil and some butter. We're about to sear it and then we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, so spread this front, back, side to side. Let it ride. Rinse your hands off. And turn it. I'm so gonna burn while I'm seasoning her. So just add an all purpose seasoning pepper onion powder and garlic powder
<laughs> Don't over season it, y'all. Oh shoot, I was supposed to put this Old Bay. Instead of, um, for oh, just use Old Bay as your all purpose. Press that in there. Dang. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Oh, babe. Yeah, they be lacking in some serious uh, areas. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> billionaires who get divorced. Like, they, they be lacking. Something is lacking. If a woman can't deal with you and you a fucking billionaire, come on. It's not too much I'll be unhappy with. <laughs> it ain't too much I'll be unhappy with, baby. For real. That is for real. Straight up. Yeah, I, I put some cayenne on mine too. So we are about to go over here. Boom ski. And we're about to sear this off. Preheat your oven to 275. You're gonna let your uh, steak cook for two hours. Two hours. Oh, 
Oh man, the fear on that bad boy. Wow. Ah! Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I burnt my neck with oil and butter. Wow, but look at that fear though. Let me show y'all something that Marisol bought for burgers and bacon. Looky, looky, people. Boom, baby. This is for bacon to keep it flat like the restaurants we have in. And this is for smash burgers. Y'all, listen to that. I can't wait to use this. I almost changed my mind today and made burgers, but guess what we doing tomorrow, honey? Smash them and grab them. You're making smash burgers tomorrow. I can't wait. They're going to be delicious. Now, when we put this in the... Um, in the um, in the oven, she also in this same pot she put mushrooms and onions and sauteed those. But I don't have any mushrooms. Um, yeah, I don't have any mushrooms because you're gonna put onions on here on top of here and you put it in the oven. So I'm just gonna use those mushrooms. Okay, onions. Yeah, I just don't have any mushrooms, y'all. So, we're not going to be doing the mushroom thing. We might do onions. So, I cut up some onions. This is, these are my onions. It's just a half of the yellow, like a huge yellow onion. So, I'm just going to put some of these in the oven with my steak. And then, I'm going to saute the rest of them. Yeah. Because I'm... I, it's too, this is too many onions to be putting on top of the steak. I'm putting this to the oven. This is a lot. It's a lot. Oh, girl, that here is amazing. Let's turn that off. And we're going to go back over here. Y'all still there? I hope y'all are. So. Stick that steak right on that foil. This is the easiest way to make a good steak, y'all. For me. Let's cut up some butter. Couple pats of butter. I'm gonna put these onions on here. Put it every many, you know, that you want to do. Boom. Butter. And Worcestershire sauce. Freaking yum. I put down two uh, pieces of foil, one going this way, one going that way. So, it's so gonna be closed all the way. I just have to make sure that, you know, everything is closed. Let me make sure there ain't nothing else I'm supposed to put on here, hold on. Yep, that's all you need. So. Just wrap it on up. Just like that. And you can put it in there just like this if you want to. Um, but I'm going to put it on something. Um, let 
This is used one of these. I got from the dollar store. Perfection. I'm just gonna put that in there. Then in that same pot, we're gonna caramelize these onions. If you have mushrooms, throw some mushrooms in there too. But this is going in the oven on 275 for two hours. So I'm about to cook the, the rest of these onions real quick. Just that easy, just to whip it. And we're gonna cook these onions on a lower temp because we want them not to burn. Now I'm not gonna season my onions. Because there's already seasoning in this pot. I think I want to put a little bit more butter in here though. Don't ask me why, I just want it to. So you just cook these until your heart is content. You know, we all have different hearts, so. Alright y'all, so this is how I want my onions. So I'm going to take these out and put them in this plate right here. I'm going to turn this off because I don't want them to cook no longer than this. I'm going to steam me some broccoli because I'm going to put everything on top of my baked macaroni and cheese. And I'm about to start my... Dang, how am I gonna cook my baked macaroni and cheese with this still in the oven? So that means I'm gonna have to make my baked macaroni and cheese closer to when this is gonna be coming out. Okay, that's cool. All right, so we're just going to Oh yeah, these onions are perfect. Perfection. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this for when I do uh, make my cheese sauce. All right, y'all ready? We're about to make our cheese sauce. So in this pot, we're gonna put like two tablespoons of butter. Let that melt. 
Now, if you are keto, you're gonna use xanthan gum. If you're not, you can use flour. I gotta hurry up. I have so much to do. I gotta find me an outfit to go with these cute shoes this company sent me. I gotta figure out which shoes I'm gonna wear because they literally sent me four pairs. So, yeah. I really don't know which ones to wear. But we are gonna see. Yeah, y'all, your girl's obsessed with her baked macaroni and cheese. Like, it's so good. All right, come on. Melt all the way, melt all the way. All right, so we're gonna put this in just like that. About that much, okay? About that much. Swirl that around. Swirl it and swirl it until it's all dissolved. Then we're going to go in with our heavy whipping cream. That's dissolved enough for me. Heavy whipping cream. I don't even know how much that was, y'all, but I'm eyeballing. I need some more. Oh, this is creamier. Oh my goodness. About that much. Twirl that around. Swirl it and twirl it. <laughs> And I think this is where we want to season this. You can put whatever season as you want, y'all. But I, oh, let me look back at my video and see what I had. Let me turn that heat down a little bit, hold on. All right, come on, let's put our cheese in. Not all of it though, because you're gonna need some of this to put on top of your um, mac and cheese. Swirl that around, and then we're gonna season it after this cheese melts. Ooh, that's thick ones. If you need to, add some more uh, whipping cream, pepper whipping cream. Cause this is kind of thick, girl. I mean, we like it thick, but gooey. Wanna be able to pour that. This heavy whipping cream is thick. All right, we just gonna put some Tony's up in here. Just like so, not too much because y'all already know cheese has um, salt already. This is paprika. You could use smoked paprika. That would be absolutely insane. So you just get that mixed up. If you want it thinner, you can actually put some, um, some uh, what do you call it? Chicken broth in here to thin it out some and that'll add more flavor too. But get it all mixed up. And make sure it's nice and smooth. Let me turn this oven on about 350. All 
And while I'm getting dressed, this uh, macaroni is gonna be cooking. Hopefully I don't forget about it, y'all. Steak is ready. I haven't showed y'all the steak. I put it back in the oven. Oh, let me get it out. Oh my God. Yo, let me get it out, girl. Before it start cooking again, it is literally perfection. Perfection. It's nice and tender. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like later. But just make sure you follow the instructions. Uh, 375 for two hours. It comes out perfect. What the hell? Well, anyway, it's gonna have to be what it is, okay? Let me tell you. I need some more seasoning. So we're going to come over here and just put it together. Normally you would want this a little bit thinner than this, but that's what we got today. So let's see, I'm turning this off and we're going to come over here. I hope I got enough, y'all. Oh, yes. Yes, that's more than enough. That's more than enough. All right. Now, we're just going to pour this in there. And stir it around. Make sure all of the... Um, noodles. Oh, flip and dip. Let that happen. Make sure all the noodles get some cheese. And just stir it all in there. Take this cheese and we're just going to spread it all over. I was gonna use some mozzarella, but it doesn't look like I need it because this is enough cheese for the top. I mean, I could if I wanted to put some more on here. Y'all gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. So I've decided to put some I love the way it cools. You know, most people probably don't even use mozzarella in the uh, baked mac and cheese, but guess what? I'm different. I guess we could just use the rest of this because that's how that was left. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good as hell. Let's throw her in there. Uh-oh. Let's throw her in there.
bomb. Mmm. Let that cook. Let's put everything else up. I'm about to go and get ready. Lego. What up, y'all? What's the mother for video? Are y'all ready for this? Y'all, my mac, my baked mac and cheese came out so freaking good. The steak, everything come out great. Um, I am just steaming some broccoli right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the steak on top of this mac and cheese like I had it last time. Then I'm gonna put the broccoli somewhere on there too and I'm just gonna eat it all together, y'all. Okay, um, this is the fit. Today, I wasn't, um, I wasn't like promoting the fit, but just in case anybody wants to know, this comes from Banana Republic. This that shirt that I got on sale there. Remember the last time I was there? The only time really uh, when I took y'all yes freaking love this i bought this when it wasn't even in season i think it was how much was it y'all was it like ten dollars it was real cheap but it's super duper cute it actually went with some pants i believe but they didn't have the pants but i just paired them with these um white linen wide leg pants that i got from zara and these shoes girl yes these are shoes i'm promoting if you want to know the company just go to my TikTok page. I'm gonna have them linked in there. Yes, these wedges, I needed some white shoes. And baby, these came in clutch. They are so cute. And they're leather with the um with the wooden like wedge. Not wooden, but y'all know the like woven wedge part. Oh, I'm freaking in love, y'all. I'm already ready for the spring. Y'all, the company sent me like four pairs of shoes plus a pair of boots and i need to hurry up and wear them boots y'all it was cold today okay i need to hurry up and wear the boots before you know everybody really start you know what i'm saying promoting uh like the spring stuff i need to get the winter out the way so yeah i was gonna do the boots today but i just couldn't think of anything real cute to wear with them but i'll i'll think of something i'm probably gonna do the boots tomorrow but yeah, I'm just waiting for this um, this uh, broccoli to steam. Let me go get my cup. Let me just go ahead and get a drink. We probably just need some water today, honestly, because <laughs> I really don't need nothing else but some water. Let me show y'all the uh, mac and cheese, please. There you go. Oh, God, it's still warm. I'm going to have to put it in the microwave before I do the video, though. Uh, but, yeah. Look at that. It came out perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, we're just going to... Um, I want y'all to be able to see me. Uh-oh. Okay, it's steamy, y'all. It's steamy. All right, so I'm just gonna get some of my leftover water that I need to use. Sixteen carriages. I swear they playing that song everywhere, all over TikTok. Like I literally can't even get it out of my head. Yeah, yeah, we just drinking water now. Put her right there. I'm about to go turn my lights on. Um, yeah, let me go turn my lights on. All right, y'all. So the 
broccoli is ready. That's what I love about broccoli. Like, it don't take long. Dang, this is still warm. Oh, my goodness. These are my caramelized onions. We're just going to take this and sit it right on top of the baked mac and cheese. Oh, my God. We're going to put our... caramelized onions on there. And do y'all know that caramelized onions and mac and cheese is amazing? I don't know if y'all have ever tried that before, but girl, try it. It is <laughs> insanely good. Okay, that's done. All right, now we're gonna warm this up just like this. All right, y'all, this is it right here, baby. <gasps> Ain't she pretty? Ooh! Oh, that looks amazing. Wait. Okay, gotta go, let's eat. Oh, we made, we have a homemade T-bone steak with caramelized onions on top, broccoli over some baked macaroni and cheese. Oh, who is ready for this? Who want a yummy bite, y'all? This is going to be so good. And we are drinking water today. Mm -hmm. Yummy, freaking delicious. Who want a yummy bite? Look at that. Baked to perfection.